Good morning. This morning we read Hosea chapter 3, 4 and 5. Hosea chapter 3 is the end of the um, practical illustration of um, God's relationship with Israel, which is symbolized in Hosea's marriage. Hosea marries a woman who is unfaithful, who runs around with other lovers, who goes and lives with another man eventually, and other men eventually. Um, and then Hosea, in chapter 3, goes and wins her back to himself and brings her back and says, stay faithful to me now. And here, through his marriage, has been this illustration of the relationship of God and Israel. God loved Israel, yet Israel was unfaithful to him, serving other gods. But he says that he's going to bring them back. However, it says in Hosea chapter 3 and verse 4, that they will live many days without a king or priest, without sacrifice or sacred stones. After the exile, when Israel came back, they didn't again have a king, not one who was recognized. And after AD 70, they needn't have a place to sacrifice or to offer um, worship in that sense. They were now faithful to God, but without a temple. But here it promises that the God is going to that time. God is going to bring them back with David, their king, the Lord Jesus. In the last days, they will come back to their land under the, the, the Messiah and have the blessings in those last days. So the all of Hosea's life uh, with his wife illustrates that relationship between Israel. Israel's unfaithfulness, God's faithfulness, God drawing them back to himself and eventually uh, reinstating them in that place of blessing and honour. Chapters 4 and 5 return back to the present day and God pronouncing his judgment and his anger against the unfaithfulness of Israel. There are a couple of things to draw out there. My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. And it's a sad thing today in the church that many are destroyed through lack of knowledge. They don't know what God's word says because they don't read it and it's not taught to them. And they don't know how to live for God, how to be changed and transformed, how to receive the spirit and to live for him. My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Let's seek the Lord today and seek his word. And then there's a... Um, a, a verse that is quite revolutionary for its time. In verse 14, I will not punish your daughters when they turn to prostitution or your daughters-in-law when they commit adultery because the men themselves consort with harlots. And so here God is saying it takes two to tango. In ancient times, even up until the time of Jesus, the woman taken in adultery was going to be stoned. What happened to the man? He just seemed to run away. Here God says, look, uh, both, uh, both are guilty, uh, but against... Um, Israel, it, it, he says, I'm going to judge you. I'm going to judge you all for your unfaithfulness to me. Let's not be like Israel. Let's be faithful to the Lord. And if we've been unfaithful, let's fall back on his mercy and his forgiveness and ask that he receives us again, that we may love him and receive his love. The Lord bless you today. Amen.